Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Wills. I'm about to do another ELA, English Language Arts Activity, that you can find on www.putnamcityschools.org slash academic slash continuous learning. Today's activity is Jack and the Parachute. 10 minutes and you'll need string, paper, pencil, parachute materials such as tissue paper, coffee filters, fabric, bag, tape, Lego figure, and paper. First, read Jack and the Beanstalk. So if you click on this link, it will take you where you can uh, read or watch the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. When you're done listening to the video, use this as a guide to help build a parachute to help Jack escape from the giant. Oh no! Jack is being chased by the giant once again. He just couldn't resist those magic beans. The giant was determined not to let Jack get away again, so he lined the beanstalk with thorny rose bushes. Jack needed, needs another plan to escape the giant. That's where you come in. Your challenge is to build a parachute to help Jack escape from the giant. Your parachute can be no longer than a length of, a length of your arm, even if you do not have these materials, you can still do this activity by just drawing out um, how you would design a parachute. You can also do the, the work pages on that you can find on the link, either by downloading it and printing it, or just copying the questions that they have on a piece of paper and answering them. There are three different papers that you guys can use for your Jack and the Parachute activity. All of these can be found from that link. Again, you do not have to print these off. You can always write them down and copy it. Number one, ask, how can I create a parachute for Jack? Number two, imagine. Now think about ways that you can keep Jack in the air for a long time. Number three, create. Create your parachute and sketch your design. Label your digraph, diagram with the materials that you used. Then, four, test one. Drop your parachute. How long did Jack stay in the air? Five, improve. What can you do to make your parachute better? Try it. Sketch your parachute. Label your materials. Six, test two. Drop your parachute. How long did Jack stay in the air? And seven, reflect. Were your changes effective? Do you think Jack would have escaped the giant? Explain. Write an explanation or draw a picture that tells what you did to build a parachute for Jack. First, next, then, and last. Write to explain your thinking and building process for this project. First, I tried blank. Then I noticed a blank. Next, I decided to. Finally, I learned. Was your design a success? Explain. You wouldn't need to do every single one of these papers, but you can if you'd like. I'm going to try the Jack in the Parachute activity, so I'm going to go gather some supplies and I'll be right back. All right, so I got a plastic baggie, some pipe cleaner, so I can't find string, and this little fella who's going to be my jack. All right, so I'm going to get some pipe cleaner. I'm trying to decide what color. Very important. I'm going to do some green. I like a yellow greeny. I'm gonna tie this to the end. Okay, so here is my parachute. We'll see if it works. We're gonna put a little cat jack. So it looks like a cat. Oh dear, this might not hold him. On here. Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna have to play around and figure out a way to hold him. I kinda wrap that around him. We'll see if it works. Little cat jack. All right, so here he is. We're gonna see how long he stays in the air. I'm gonna count. All right, ready, go. One. He kinda fell right away, didn't he? Maybe if I just like glide him. Still not too much in the air. Well, my cat Jack, I don't know if he's gonna make it. And if I had more time, I would try to figure out another way um, to get him to stay. But I need to hurry up with some of my videos. So, poor cat Jack I might just get caught by the giant, but that's okay. So, I can do one of these papers. I can do all of them. Um, right now, I'm just going to um, do this one to save on some time. And um, I'll show you what I write down. So first, I thought about what I had to keep Jack in the air. Next, then I gathered my supplies. Then I created Jack's parachute. Last, I tested it out. And sadly, poor... Cat Jack. It was not a success for him. So at home, you guys can um, first listen to that um, audio of someone reading Jack and the Beanstalk to you. Then you can either print off these papers or choose one or choose all of them if you'd like. Copy them down so you guys can create your own parachute to keep Jack in the air. Um, again, you do not have to print them off. You could just copy them down. And if you don't have the materials, you can just draw a picture of it and you could do one of these, um, one of these worksheets. Imagine if you did have the materials. Again, you don't have to do all of those papers. They're just there for you and you can just pick the one that you'd like to do and, uh, but you can do the other ones if you'd like. If you'd like to show me your result, I'd love to hear it, especially if you had a better success with your Jack and his parachute. Um, talk to your parents, have them send me a message on Blooms, and if you have pictures, I'd love to see them.